welcome Libra. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of May the 13th to the 20th, 2019. I truly, again, want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing to them. Again, I advise you to click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on YouTube to view. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card may not resonate with every single Libra out there, but take what you can with from it and throw the rest out into the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I welcome you to click the icon at the right-hand top corner of this video and it will immediately direct you to my website and all information is written below as well. Yes, I am still doing the Pay It Forward limited time offer reading 30 minutes for $30 regularly 75 it will expire the end of this month May so I have also offered a second reading for people who want who've had a reading with me for the same discounted price as long as you go in and you pay for it before the end of May or you can do what I did pay it forward and gift it to someone that you know could use it and would learn and want to find anything out from me in a reading. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Libras, let's see what we have here. Well, your all over energy is the Four of Fire, known as the Four of Wands. And this is telling me that abundance is coming in in your home life. I do see stability there, happiness there. Some of you may be buying a home, a new house. Some of you may be moving to a new apartment, a new home, a dwelling. A new dwelling place for you. I do see you're going to be finding happiness and peace in your relationships, in your family. You're going to find that abundance coming into you. Your home life is going to improve. Your The energy and the vibration and the peace and contentment within your home life, your family, your closest circle will be great. I do see this is a card of success as well. It's, it has to do with a completion successful completion of any projects you're working on. This is an amazing card. All that yellow, everybody, you know when I tell you, when you see a lot of yellow on a card, it's all for the better. It's all for the greater good. It's all about happiness, peace, and success. You're working on something, my beautiful Libras. You've got the Seven of Earth, at, known as the Seven of Pentacles, and this shows me that you're diligently working towards your goal, perhaps your place of employment, something where you've been applying yourself to make more money. Um, I do see you've planted your seeds well, and you're waiting. You may have put out a proposal, an idea, a resume, something out there that you're waiting to hear a, a response from, and wondering how they reacted to to it when they received it and you tend to be standing there and you're at a stalemate and you're a little bit worried so it's unnecessary worry Libra know that what you sent out was excellent it, you planted your seeds well and it's just temporary you will hear from them because you still have more seeds to plant and it's starting to flourish so this means it's going to work out in your favor crowning your week Libra you got the strength card and often the strength card has to do with justice and dealing with any challenging situations like that. Um, it, it's all about you digging deep into your inner strength at a soul level and a root level and not reacting in haste uh, or perhaps saying or doing things in haste that you can't take back. So it's about releasing any harsh judgments, okay? If you're carrying any of that within you, let it go when you step in to deal with any other people or challenges in your week. Because often what happens is it lays there dormant, it's residual, and then we jump with it and it's misdirected. It's misdirected energy, anger, anxiety, whatever. So I want you to realize that forgiveness and compassion are part of making amends, okay? If you're dealing with uh, situations that tend to be a little bit, um, there's a turmoil there, there's an argument there, there's a debate there with someone, um, you know, step back, take a deep breath. This is a card when I say to you, you can attract more bees, and bees can sting, you know that, with honey rather than vinegar. Don't anger them, okay? So go in there and sweeten the pot with forgiveness and compassion. At the end of the week, Libra, you've been given the Ten of 
Fire, a beautiful uh, card. I love the tens. They're usually completion. This is the ten of fire, which usually has to do, uh, it does have to do with the wands and traditional tarot, but it has to do with your self-development. And it shows me that you're, you're pushing through situation in your life. You're really up against the wall. You're, you're trying to force an issue. Uh, you're trying to get through to something or someone. And often we shouldn't be forcing anything. We need to step back, look at the whole picture, assess it, look at it from a different angle, and things will become easier. Um, but if you are actually physically doing, uh, you know, way too much, uh, or, you know, you've got a list of things to do, uh, you know, to-do list, and you can't seem to check them all off, then it's time to ask for help from others and know that they're there. People are around us all the time that we can step up and say, hey, can you give me a hand with this? Because if you don't, our life gets out of balance. And when it gets out of balance, it can lead to stress-related health issues. So please know that, you know, you can't always do all of it, okay? So don't be too proud to ask for help. Let's see what we've got here, Libra, for the all-over uh, energy here for this reading. Let's see what we've got in addition here with the Lenormand cards. So I need three cards here for this reading. And there's too many cards. We only need three. Okay. Here I need one more card, please. One more card. One more card, please. That's all. Just one. There it is. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in, in here you're getting a gift here. And this may be the person that you have approached here. There's a man here. He's got a gift. He may be the one coming forward that you have approached uh, with this proposal, with this idea, and you're waiting to hear the seeds that you planted. Your gift is going to come in, okay? Your gift is going to come in. You will be hearing, and that signifies that anyway. And it also confirms that. You've got the whip and the broom, and the whip and the broom has to, this, has to do with this struggle. And, you know, uh, a whip and a broom, when it's uh, afflicted on someone, brings pain, and we don't want to do that. So this is telling you to be very careful how you approach people this week. If you have any challenges or debates, or like I say, there's any types of little battles or arguments uh, ensuing, don't go in too abrasive and too aggressive. Go in there with kindness. Go in there with forgiveness. Go in there with compassion, and you'll be able to get through any of those challenges. This is firm, this is a firm foundation. This is knowing that things will work out in your favor here, okay? Okay, it's obvious. It could be some, some of you may be getting engaged. You may be getting asked to be married. You may be getting asked for the commitment of moving in together. But I do see this also signifies with the struggles of pushing too hard, forcing any issue uh, that you, you're you dealing with, uh, perhaps in a relationship, you don't want to do that. But at the end of the day, when this work is done, you're going to have a firm foundation. It's going to be completed. The circle won't be broken. It's going to be, it, it will work out in your favor. Okay, this is a beautiful card of commitment, of, um, you know, a firm foundation, uh, eternity. Things are going to work out at the end of the day. All right, let's see what we have here, my beautiful Libras, for your Beautiful, beautiful answers from the angels. Well, you know, you got within, you got the card within the next few weeks. So if you've asked a question when something's going to be completed, it could have to do with this job, this application, this idea, this proposal you've put out. Uh, it may have to do with that. Or it may have to do with this little bit of a debate and a challenge you may be having with people this week. You know, when will this be over with? When, when will the conclusion come to that? And also, you know, at the end there, getting that work done. So within the next few weeks, all right? In the next few months, or the next few weeks, when you asked about when it will happen this month or soon thereafter, your patience is rewarded within the next few weeks, okay? That if you've asked a question when something's going to come to pass or be completed, that's when it's going to happen. Now, <clears throat> you got for your final beautiful outcome card, you got the dolphin. And the dolphin is, don't worry, be happy. Okay? So escape from the stress by life, of life by being more relaxed and doing more of what you want. Pursue your creative passions and use your energy in a more productive way. Try not to worry about issues you have no control over. <clears throat> this worrying can become a habit. So by taking a more relaxed and laid-back attitude, you can conquer your stress and become more calm and content. 
So let things go, my friend. Don't get stressed out. Looks like things are going to work out in your favor here. If some of you are worrying about money or, or uh, you know, expecting money or a job to come in, um, you know what? Try gentleness, try compassion, try understanding when dealing with any other people out here, you know, honey instead of vinegar. And I do see a commitment coming in for some of you. And again, I said it could have to do with a marriage, or, you know, uh, moving in together, <clears throat> a commitment. It could have to do with commitment in anything in your life where you're dealing with other people. Well, my beautiful Libras, this is your reading for the week of May the 13th. I wish you a great remainder to today, and I'll see you again soon. And always know that I only stand in this circle of love and light for you.